talk about today is uh, Ashley had a terrible uh, battle with a stingray. It wasn't mm -hmm. just walked in and it hit her right in the leg and the wound really was bad, wasn't it? Yeah. Tell us how, where were you fishing? You were south on the National Seashore, I Texas? I was, um, we were about at the 18th. Okay, and, and that's uh, on Padre Island National yes, Seashore. Down okay. In okay. And, uh, I had just tied on a nice mullet on my line and I was going to walk out to the first bar and cast it out. I made it there, casted, I turned around and I was shuffling my feet, mm -hmm. going real slow and um, the water was probably knee deep, the waves were hitting me mid thigh and I didn't step on the ray, um, nothing, I just felt I got tagged in my leg. Did it hurt the instant, the instant it happened or? It took about two seconds right and then i kind of like realized what had happened mm -hmm. and took off running okay um, but i had only ran about 10 steps before i collapsed because i lost the ability to walk okay and, and so you were you were there what did you what happened what did you think was going on I had no idea i what... knew exactly what had happened you did i there's there's nothing else that would have come screaming to, 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 to draw yeah. off Okay, was the water cloudy bad or? It was. It was it cloudy it, too. It, it was murky, overcast. Uh, the tide was extremely high. Extremely high. Okay. Now, I, I see that there's 750 incidents is a year of stingrays hitting people, yet there's only 17 recorded deaths by stingray. But there's a lot of people who go seriously in the mm -hmm. shop and there can be no end of stuff happening oh, about yeah. that. So you actually couldn't walk, right? right? I lost the ability to walk, um, but I didn't know at the time that that was because it had hit my tendon and my ligament. Can, can we put the camera and show, show the wound still? How long is it now since you've had that? So it's, I'm almost six weeks post-surgery. Okay. And this incident happened on November 14th. Okay, so you had to have surgery, mm -hmm. and why did you have to have surgery? Well, I was on a ton of different antibiotics, um, and they couldn't get rid of the infection. Mm -hmm. um, they gave me IV antibiotics, oral meds, um, I got cellulitis in my foot. Um, I, I was looking at the pictures, we were following <laughs> it closely yeah, online, oh, yeah. lots of people were. And I was really worried that you were going to lose your leg. It was bad. It started modeling up my leg at one point. It mm -hmm. was turning purple. I mean, it's um, awful, wasn't it? I mean, it, went, it did go purple and everything. It did. So I had to have surgery because when it entered my tendon, it left a bunch of the sheath in there. And right. my tendon got really infected. Okay. And it, um, Now, that sheath being in there, is there no way that should have been recognized beforehand? What, why, why was it missed? Well... I don't know. I did have CT scans okay. and MRI scans. And they didn't show. And I think they were just hoping that the antibiotics would, you know, Take cure it. Mm -hmm. And it just never did. It just kept getting worse and worse. But um, they also thought there might be a little piece of the barb still in there that right. wasn't showing up. That's what I understood mm -hmm. until I researched and found out that it's the actual sheath right. that causes infection yeah. and stuff like that. But the poison is what causes mm -hmm. all the pain. Right? Yeah. And they say if you get it in the chest or the abdomen, that it can kill you. Right. I right? was uh, running 101 fever, uh, nauseated, sick. I thought I was going to lose my foot. Right. Um, and the meds just, they wouldn't work. And uh, so finally they were like, we have to have surgery. You have to have surgery to clean it out. That's all. Right. Talk us through the incident again. So you started screaming. You saw her. <laughs> And we were both out to surf. We Nick, we were on fish. Right. I have to tell you, we were on <laughs> fish. Awesome. Well, that, that's all about left her as well. And, uh, <laughs> and as she was walking back, I had already casted mine out, set the pole up, 
and was actually watching her and she came to a dead stop, her jaw dropped, and within seconds, she let out a blood curdling oh, scream. Right. Started running with her rod. Mm -hmm. I met her a little ways off the off the sand. Took the rod. As soon as she hit dry land or the sand, she collapsed. Face forward, bam, right. like a board. Right. Uh, was the pain at that point maxed out? Yeah, it was unbearable. Okay. Mm -hmm. You would see the blood running down. Of course, she's wet, right. so it, it, it really yeah. amplified the blood flow. Mm -hmm. I tried to get her to a chair. She couldn't. Now, Nick, right in the middle of all this, <laughs> my rod, it started going off. So you threw the wife down. Yes. <laughs> I asked Kicked her to the side. Said, <laughs> we're, 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 we, we got a fish hit on the middle rod. That is the only time <laughs> she stopped screaming for about eight seconds. She looked at the rod and I thought, okay, she's going to get up and go get right. that rod. I couldn't get it. She, she won't let me get it. And then she sat back down and went to screaming. <laughs> That's when I knew you, we you, are you in a serious yourself. medical mm -hmm. emergency mm -hmm. if Ashley can't go and get a rod. Right, yeah. So so you packed up everything and started driving the back of the truck. Yeah. And you got 18 miles to go to the actual entrance. Absolutely. Okay, now we know the speed limit on the National Seashore that time of year is still 25, 25. for the first yeah. and then 15 for the first. That is right? correct. Okay, so talk us through what happened. I put the emergency flashers on. Did you drag her into the truck? We got I had military crawl to the truck and right. then we kind of did one, two, three to throw me in the truck. Right. Wow. And during that time driving, I uh, I couldn't breathe. Right. Um, I was I was nodding off um, this way too, outside of the window, and Kent was you know trying to coach me, you know, like, stay with it, stay with it. I mean, this is me. real serious shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. I thought she was going into full shock. shock. Now, I've, I've like had it. fishermen, like, really experienced fishermen, told me of an incident. He was fishing in the bay with a guy. <laughs> Listen to Abby. She, he got hit uh, by a stingray, this guy did, and he went into shock straight away. I mean, it was just like yeah. on him. I don't think you have any control over over that if it's going to happen it's going to happen right and i was deathly afraid it was happening worst pain you've ever felt oh man yes mm. even even like rethinking all this is like uh it's just like ptsd scared the shit mm -hmm. out yeah now we've got another good friend angela she was the same oh, with angela the day she got yeah, hit we were with her. yeah angela got hit and she lives just across from you just on the island is, yeah. And same thing, she was in total agony. Mm -hmm. She went down there. Uh, she told us she went into the emergency. They were looking at her insurance. She was saying, the insurance, yeah. just get this and stop this yeah. pain. You know, she yeah. said the pain was terrible. Yeah. Yeah. I'm um, compared to childbirth. Yeah. It was the, it's, I hope I never experience anything like that again. I hope I never experience. I, I mean, how the hell so I've missed that. You've gotten lucky. I know, for many, <laughs> many years. And I, I'm, I've been fishing right next to Billy and one's gone. And he said, slide your feet, because you yeah. do tend to we forget. Kids poked them with the rod before. Right. You know? Yeah. I love <laughs> seeing them. You know, yeah. I mean, I love yeah. watching them go by. And there was sometimes we have eagle rays. I'm not sure if they've got the same spine as they, do you know? They got that long thin tail. I heard that they don't have the same spine as our southern. Right, because they are big. Yeah. Anyhow, so so you were proceeding off the beach. Mm -hmm. All right. Then what happened? Roughly around Yarble Pass, around the 15. So you got to the 15. We've got to the 15, and and got again, hazards on. We've got our hazards on. What sort of speed are you doing? We're at that point, there's no one there on a Monday no, morning. No, We're probably going 40, if not 40, a little. 40, 50. Sort of not 50, but definitely right. into the 40s. Okay. And we we pass a uh, border patrolman. He's mm -hmm. in a, his little marked white truck. Right. And, you know, I'm not going to stop and yeah. ask for help from a border patrolman. Yeah. He's down there. He's busy. He kind of slows down a little. And I told Ashley, I said, hey, I bet he's going to call in to the rangers. Right. And maybe to get us an escort off this beach. Right. So I continue going, and we get into the fives without incident. We're still maintaining a 35 to 40. 
as we're getting into camps, we're starting to slow down against her wishes. Because oh, yeah. she's at this point, go, no, go, just go. go. Right. No, we don't. We, we're slowing down into the right at 30. Right. Once I hit the 15, you know, how things start kind of getting mm -hmm. a little more congested. There's only a few campers. Right. And we slow down, we speed up, we slow down, right. we speed up. Mm -hmm. And I see the sticks, the entrance coming up. Right. And about that time, I see a ranger vehicle come off the pavement onto the beach. Mm -hmm. Now, we're within a couple of hundred yards of them. And I just pulled the truck over to stop. I've, I've guessed, I guess correctly, that the border patrolman called in that there's right. a, an emergency mm -hmm. vehicle, you know. Mm -hmm. They pull up behind us. They turn on their lights. We're already sitting the windows down. And I motion for the driver of the, the ranger truck to come forward. I motion with my hands. He starts walking up. I said, we have an emergency. Well, the other ranger goes on to her side. and uh, Yeah, so when he starts walking up, you know, I'm already like waving at him like, you know, come here, come here. Mm -hmm. And uh, he gets up to him like, hey, I got hit by a ray. Like, I need to get, you know, to right. the hospital. I need to go to the ER now. And, you know, it's bleeding out on the floorboard. And he just kind of looks at it. And he says, well, do you need an ambulance? And I said, no, I, I we just need to get to the hospital. <laughs> You're I, in a control. I, like, I, we don't right. have time to wait on an ambulance. And what right. are they going to do for me? You know, I right. needed the hot water, you know, mm -hmm. pain meds, just something. And so I said, no. And he said, well, if you don't need an ambulance, this is an, an emergency and you don't need to be speeding down the beach. What a terrible thing. And I say. remember him and I, I just, I just stared at him, mm -hmm. you know, just in shock. Like, why, why are you telling me this? Right. And he said, you're obviously not dying. Oh my he God. said, you know, you're not Steve Irwin. You didn't get hit in the chest. Right. You told me you don't need an ambulance. You know, we need to deal with the speeding issue. And so he, he took off, and I was like, what is going on right now? Because yeah. I, I thought he was going to... What do you mean he took off? He drove off? No, or? he went back to his truck. He did had he, taken, uh, he had got taken, your license? Yes, yeah, the other check. guy did. But no, this is just so ridiculous. So I thought he was going to see my wound and be like, are you, you know, you okay? What mm -hmm. happened to you? You know, let's get you out of this park. And that's not what happened. No. no. I, I mean, a couple of weeks ago, there was someone had a dog run over. And I know the wardens led them off in an emergency situation to go to the vets. So, you know, there are people out there that care. And I understand more than likely that uh, Border Patrol, they more than likely had something going on, right. saw you speeding. And I, but I don't understand the lack of concern. Right. And this apparent knowledge this person has to say that you're not injured. Right. He, he could have killed you, right. basically. You know what I mean? And yeah. That's wrong. Well, especially, you know, because I was having a hard time. I was in a lot of distress, you mm -hmm. know, couldn't breathe. Um, just just trying to, like, just keep my eyes open. Right. You know? I mean, really, you'd think the amount of times that these stingrays are hitting mm -hmm. people, that the park would have some medical help there right. on hand. They charge you to go in. This is something that injures people on their so-called area. Right. You know, you'd think there'd be, okay, let's take them straight right. there, and there'd be a, a first aid center where they right. could deal with it, not just brush it off. Because, mm -hmm. you know, work, working at the seashore, you yeah. know, I would think you would have, you know, training in stingrays. Of course. You know, shark bites. Yeah. You'll notice that, recognize what's going on, and say you need to go. In his favor, I went online and Googled, deaths caused by it. and they say that it's got to be in the abdomen or the chest but like I say I've known people go and shock you know and right nearly die and you nearly lost your leg right well it was also their urgency mm -hmm. like it was you're in agony at one point they were standing in front of their truck you know just standing there and so I kept telling Kent, I wasn't in my right mind. I was like, just drive off. Just yeah, go. I, I got to go. I got to go. Yeah. And I was yelling at him. Kent's like, we can't leave. I'm like, I got to go. So I got back out of the door and was like, you know, come here, come here. And so he walked back up and I was, I started crying. Right. And I was like, please, please, please. Can we just go? Can you please hurry up? Please, please, please. And so Kent 
was like either give us the ticket or let us go like right. we need to go okay so all yeah. in all that that really was one of the worst things right. you could have experienced well, well, it, it even got a little worse Nick. yeah okay as he as the other ranger came up with my license and we had already had some words some mm -hmm. some horrible words but right. I, I was i was no longer in the mood to no i totally understand i asked him very sincerely can you please give us an escort out of the park mm -hmm. he flat denied he said no, no. no absolutely not going to happen i wasn't i wasn't prepared for that answer no so i asked again you know i, yeah. I, I repeated myself yeah and this time he said absolutely not we are going to follow behind you you're going to drive the speed limit and we're going to make sure you do that, i think that's the worst thing i've heard someone saying that i've got a friend here who's working out of the camera he works in a hospital have you ever heard anything like that absolutely not yeah it's ridiculous isn't it yeah it's unethical yeah. yeah so we drove the speed limit mm -hmm. they followed us all the way up to the to the pay shack to the right gatehouse they stopped and we maintained the speed limit 45 is 45 that's fine once we got out of the park we we kicked it up a notch and, and got her to the er okay so when you got to the er Kent ran hand. inside i think and uh i remember everybody kind of running out with a wheelchair and they got me in it and took me in and immediately got my foot into the hot water and it was almost like it took it from a 20 you know down to maybe like a three right it was like oh hey this is what i was doing. three is something we could do <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. it would still be a 10 for you guys yes. <laughs> but but i could tell something still wasn't right and at that time i didn't know it had tore you know my tendon and my ligament right. and it went into my bone too there was still some off greenish mm -hmm. darker matter Coming, coming out of the wound, which I understand to be that that that, that sheet. poison mm -hmm. from the sheet. Yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now I've I've actually met fishermen that uh, one guy lost half his foot to a stingray, had to have that removed, and there was another gentleman who had a wound, uh, a big one, got him in the back of the knee, and it cut all his tendons, and he had a permanent limp. I mean, they are really super dangerous. They're the most dangerous things we encounter. They worry about sharks nothing about the things yeah you know you're going to, the only times i've ever seen shark bite someone is when they've been on a hook someone's taken them off i've never seen a shark attack exactly have you no oh no there was that surf fish yeah, the right, other yeah, day a few, a few months ago yeah, oh, yeah a month ago at yeah Zachary. he got his foot bit <laughs> uh, now, I have, that I have, did look good. That foot looked good, man. I don't know what that was. I, I know the old flats got going along. <laughs> when, when I was a kid here at Port Aransas, the wave fishermen would tie that over, <coughs> that over string on string oh, yeah. drag them around. And, uh, they would get a love nip every now yeah. and then. But I, I think with today's no, extended no. streamer, we've seen the last of that. Nick. I've never thought twice about a stingray. No. You know, we have a certain uh, way that we unhook them and, and deal with them without harming the fish. Right. You know, we, we remove the, the sticker off and right. we, we, we deal with it. And of course, they swim off and they'll grow another yeah. one in another yeah. three months. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so I've never, ever thought a stingray could incapacitate someone, especially my wife, which she is so active, you know. Drink. Yeah, yeah, we're we're 168 I, days I, a year yeah. in the surf. Well, last I couldn't year. walk for five weeks. So that was the thing. Everyone was watching online, and mm -hmm. I was having people come in the shop and saying, "Have you seen her leg? Is she gonna <laughs> lose it?" I said, yeah. "I hope not." Yeah. yeah, I thought I wasn't. Looking. Now I see kids running through that surf and stuff. It scares the hell out. Yeah, you know they just it's charge just, through it, and I just think it's only a matter of time. Yeah. We saw some yesterday, and it. It triggers. It's like, ah! Yeah, it really does. Yeah. So looking at your wound and everything, at the end of the day, you think you're over it now? Everything's okay? No, I still have physical therapy. Show us that. Um, so you have to go to physio? Yeah, so I have this huge knot right here, um, and it's stuck, and I still can't, well, 
I can't really pick my foot up that well. Like yeah. if you compare it to this, you can see everything yeah. there. And this is just all still inflamed and irritated. Well, we're really pleased you're okay, Ash. Yeah. Yeah, and that was an awful experience. And on behalf of the ranger, I apologize. That's the worst thing I've heard. And I'm sure that they're going to see this video. Yeah. And people shouldn't have to experience that at all. Uh, that part I've been involved with for years. I've never known that level of mistreatment of people who use the park. Normally, all the years I've known them, they've always been friends, the rangers. Right. This lot, they're new, I think, and it's just not there like it used to be. There's just this wall that's built up, and I'm sorry that happened. Right. It's awful. Yeah, right. I thought we were on, you know, the same team, you <laughs> yeah. know, because we see them out there all the time. We wave right. to them, and, um, you know, if they ever needed help, you know, there's no doubt we would... I've helped them. Yeah. yeah. You know, they that used to, I always remember Perky. He said, he used to always say, you know, we're all part of the same team. If I break mm -hmm. down, I expect you to get right. me and I'll look after you. Right. And that was the deal. That's how I felt. Yeah. And so that. And they day, used to go to the jetty every day in them days. Huh. One of them would always drive them all the way down. Some days and go all the way back. <laughs> they don't go south of the five. Yeah. Very seldom. They're winding up there for them people with stingray wounds that they can <laughs> arrest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. All I can say is keep shuffling. Yeah. You know, I I, I, I haven't shuffled in forever. I no. always thought I was far too small and bony. To bother. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think. That might get you in the arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just keep shuffling. Right. And, Do you know, I like, I. Fish with a man named John Coffey. And it, we happened to be talking about a gentleman who got hit by a stingray like a week before. And John Coffey used to fish the surf a lot in them days. And uh, he said, I've never been hit. And then I looked at him and I was watching him fish. And all he does, he walks about this speed. <laughs> <laughs> now, in all fairness, that's about how fast Ashley was walking that day. Really? Oh, right I'm just scared of him. She's always been scared of him. Yeah. And so she's always taken that precaution. Right. Where, you know, I, I didn't think twice about him. And See, I, I've never bothered to cut the barbs off. I was always going to grow back and watch you yeah. But... After what happened to you, I said to you, I'm going to start chopping them barbs yeah. off. You know, I won't take the tail off, I'll just take the bar. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. You know, we use a, a PVC pipe. Oh, to just slide it up? Just slide up there and, and Now, that's and a good right idea. Well, like a two-inch pipe? No, no, even smaller. Like really? a half inch. Yeah. Are you going over the barb or the yeah, tail? Yeah, the, the barb. Just oh, take uh, the barb and... What a great idea. The there you go. That's yeah. awesome. That way I can take a picture with them. Yeah, and have you collected them? Oh, yes. Yeah. You should have a necklace on you. You know what, Nick? I'd stab myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for an awesome story. I'm like so to say yeah, one go thing. on. Yeah. Um, if the ranger does watch this, because I don't know his name, you know, I just ask that maybe you, you know, get some education and just realize that, you know, these things can be serious. And, you know, at the least, just escort people out of the park. Yeah. You know, you Once they'd establish that you weren't doing anything wrong, I right. just don't understand that mentality. Right. But anyway, con considering you were so much agony and that it took so long for you to get right. over this. Right. I'm going to post the pictures of your leg. I'm going to go back through your collection and put them the up. Hair out. Yeah, I'll shave <laughs> that damn leg. <laughs> or the damn monkey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> no, it wasn't bad. I'm, I'm just winding you up. Anyhow, thanks a lot for Thank coming by and telling everyone about Thank the sting you, Because of the severe accident and the damage that actually, actually has taken to her leg, okay, it made me seriously think about what we need to carry on the beach in case we encounter some of these stingray injuries and so we can help. All right, Ashley clearly said that when she put a foot in hot water, the pain diminished from like a 10 down to a three. So what we've done, we've come up with an idea. We don't know whether the water has to go into the wound, but we're assuming it's just the sheer heat. And if it is, what we do is we're gonna Fill this every day we go down the beach, we're going to carry this full of boiling water. We've then got a good old fashioned hot water bottle, which we'll fill up 
and we can wrap that around the wound and we can keep reheating it until we get off the beach. That's the idea. Now remember, it doesn't go into the wound, but we are heating the area around it, believing that's what should help. Now, we also carry this uh, hemorrhoid relief cream with uh, lidocaine in it at 5%. We, we can clean the wound with hydrogen peroxide, got paper and everything to do it. Put this cream into the wound, wrap the leg with hot water bottle, and get straight to a first aid center, and then let them take over. You do need to get an x-ray. If that sheath is in there, you can end up with some of the problems that Ashley's got. Ashley is still suffering. She has to go to the surgeon on a regular basis to operate on her leg. She's got a lump on it, her foot's not working correctly, and she's got to take physiotherapy. It's a very serious wound, and you need to be prepared for it. Slide your feet, walk slow. Help us get the word out by sharing this video of how dangerous stingray wounds can be. Thanks very much for watching everyone. We do appreciate it. And please support both my video channel, Nick Away, uh, on YouTube and also Everyday Beach Life. Thanks for watching guys, stay safe.